a new shirt that I bought for my honeymoon that's in a couple weeks, but I liked it so much that I couldn't wait to wear it. It's so soft. And my honeymoon is in a couple weeks because I am getting married in a matter of days. I've awoken in a cold sweat several times this week from wedding planning stress dreams. Also, quick side note, in case you didn't know already, I'll be tabling at Lifebox Expo. That is September 6th through 8th. I wanted to let you guys know now because it's a month away. I'll be selling books and prints at table number 601 all weekend. I'll also be speaking on a panel that Saturday. It's a panel for artists, YouTubers. It's a panel with me, Ross Tran, Cynics, and Proco, and it is moderated by Steven Silver. I'll give you guys more information as that event gets closer. I'll also be posting updates on my Instagram, Lulu Sketches, if you want to follow me there. And I will be vlogging the entire weekend in case you can't make it. Back to today's video, textures. Back when I first started digital drawing, I used to be obsessed with textures. Even if a drawing I made wasn't good, I would slap on a texture at the end and suddenly it looked Still not great, but slightly better. I came to rely on textures in all of my digital drawings in middle school to the point where it became a bad habit. And now I'm going to teach that bad habit to you guys. Am I an enabler? First, I'm gonna talk about the types of textures that I like to use. Then I'm gonna go over how to find textures or create your own. And lastly, I'll explain how to apply textures onto your digital painting. I'll do a little demonstration of adding textures to one of my own paintings so you guys can see exactly how to do it. First, the types of textures I like to use. Back when I first started digital painting and was way too into textures, subtlety was not in my vocabulary. I would either use images of bright, colorful watercolors, or I'd use a vintage yellow paper texture set to multiply at 100% opacity that made my art look like it was drawn directly onto the back of the Declaration of Independence. Nowadays, if I decide to use a texture, I go with something a little more toned down. If I make a very painterly digital painting with lots of big brush strokes showing, I could add a subtle canvas texture to make it look more like a traditional oil painting. I use subtle canvas textures like this whenever I painted portraits for Tangled the Series to make them look more like they were painted on a real canvas. Or if my painting just looks too digital, there's a lot of flat colors, not a lot of brush strokes showing through. Sometimes I'll just add a noise filter to give it some graininess. Next, how to to find textures or create your own. You can just Google textures, but you have to make sure that they're free to use and that they're at a high enough resolution that they won't appear pixelated on your canvas. A great place to find texture packs is DeviantArt. Just make sure to check out the terms of use before downloading. One of my favorite things to do is making my own textures. I would paint watercolors on watercolor paper and then scan it in and use that image as a texture. You can also just scan in blank paper that has a nice texture to it, like your favorite sketchbook paper, or for a canvas, you can just take a large photo of a canvas and use that as a texture. You can also create digital textures yourself. If you have like a favorite Photoshop brush that has a texture to it that you really like, you can just paint over the entire canvas and save that image as a new texture. As I mentioned before, a noise filter adds a nice graininess to a digital painting that looks too digital. You can find the noise filters in Photoshop under filter, noise, add noise. And now how to apply these textures onto your digital painting. After you've finished your drawing or painting and you have a texture you want to apply to it, insert the texture into your Photoshop file over the layers you want it to affect. You can change the layer mode and opacity of the texture layer. I also like to play with adjustments such as the levels, hue, saturation, and color balance. Make sure to rasterize your texture image first. You can do this just by right-clicking on the texture layer and hitting Rasterize Layer. If you're totally new to layer modes and adjustments, check out my layer effects tutorial. I will link that down below.
If you want the texture limited to just one part of your painting, such as the character but not the background, clip the texture to those painting layers with a clipping mask. Create a clipping mask by holding down the Option or Alt key between layers, then clicking with your mouse. If clipping masks are totally new to you and this is confusing, check out my Photoshop layers tutorial and that one is also linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and try not to get too obsessed with textures, but have fun you crazy kids. Subscribe, bye! Are you stretching? Oh, I just got a cramp in my back. What? This is what your 20s look like. I look at